G'day, welcome to Country Life on the Coast. Well, today we're going to start the second section of our back fence. Alright guys, this is the starting point for the next fence line that we've got to build. We're going to not use this corner post just here, but we'll stand one just in front of it and then just run all the way down sort of parallel with what is another barbed wire fence. Uh, I'm not removing this barbed wire fence though, well certainly not at the moment because there's horses in the neighbour's paddock there so we don't really want all the horses in our yard. Uh, but what I'm going to start by doing is grabbing the whippersnipper and just cleaning out all of this long grass and stuff down there just so we've got a clear line of sight and uh, so I can actually see the ground where we're going and then we'll go from there. cleared all the grass that was uh, in the way where the new posts are going to go. So we'll uh, drill a couple of holes, hopefully get these posts stood up this afternoon and concrete it in. We am watching the weather a little bit because there's some dark clouds on the hill over there, but we will see if we can get this done. All right, so we've got this first post hole dug and the post sitting in there. Not leveled up or anything yet, but at least it's in. So we'll uh, go to the next site, dig it, and then try and concrete these in. Alright, well, I've been digging here for a while, trying to get through what I thought was a tree root, but I now reckon it's an old fence post, which sort of makes sense because this is the corner of the boundary. So I reckon what they've done is way back when they had the boundary peg on a post, and then that's rotted out over time, and they've just moved that way a little bit, put a new one in. And I've been digging down on top of it, so it's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a problem. I'm just going to see how deep we're at. So we're almost 450 mil, which is certainly not deep enough or not as deep as I wanted to get to. So I'll have to have a think about what we're going to do next. Ah, the joys.
Okay, so we'll mix up our concrete now. Just using the concrete blend that I got from just a landscaping company. It's going to drop off a heap of it. We'll use it over time, it'll be fine. Bag of cement I'll mix. So I'm going to use four parts to one part. And just mixing it today in the wheelbarrow because I'm only doing the one post. Uh, you know, got a cement mixer that I'll use for a bit when I'm doing more than that. But funny, always remember as an apprentice learning how to mix concrete in a wheelbarrow, thinking I'll never use this. Here we go, years later, and I'm still using it. And for small jobs, it's perfect. It's all you need to do. So. back at this hole where we started digging it the other day and we've found what I believe is probably the old fence post. So today we've got to come up with a solution to either get through that or maybe just bring this post this side a little bit or find a new hole for it. So we'll uh, clean this out, start digging down and see what we can find. So I've run my string line out and then run my tape measure as well. And from post to post, it's just over 24 meters. So I reckon I could space the post out in a perfect world at 2.4 meters and get that, you know, to work perfectly. The only problem is this big tree behind me. The trunk of it starts at 2.4 meters from my first post there. And it's like a, six eight hundred mil round tree trunk so i'm concerned that if i'm digging right at 2.4 there that i'm going to be right into the roots of it and it's going to be very difficult the first post behind me i'm going to shrink that up a little bit 
and then that will change the spacing for the rest but I'll get them closer to you know two meters 2.4 meters something like that uh, for the rest of them just this first one I'll just shrink it a bit just to stay away from the tree roots the best I can and we'll go from there so I'll mark out some dots on the on the string line and we'll start digging and see how we go So we've concreted these three posts in and now we'll continue on digging holes for even more posts to go. So we have all the posts in, we have braces sitting beside most of them, there's a couple I still need to get down but it's getting dark now, doesn't quite show that on the camera but sun's gone down, cooling off, so I'm calling it a day. Well that's all we've got time for today, thank you so much for watching, please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you next time, God bless.